Vice President Joe Biden is known for his love of Amtrak, but this morning he's drawing attention for what he said about one of the nation's biggest airports. He compared New York's LaGuardia Airport to a, quote, third world country. LaGuardia opened in 1939. Jeff Pegues is there this morning. Well, good morning, Charlie and Nora. You can see LaGuardia Airport showing its age in some spots and ranking at or near bottom in a lot of customer satisfaction surveys. But the vice president wasn't just taking a swipe at this airport. He was talking about a broader issue, uh, the need for upgrades at airports across the country. At a press conference about trains, it was a comment about planes that got most of the attention. If I blindfolded someone, and took him at 2 o'clock in the morning into the airport in Hong Kong and said, where do you think you are? They said, this must be America. It's a modern airport. If I took him blindfolded and took him to the LaGuardia Airport in New York, you must think I must be in some third world country. No, I'm, I'm not joking. That struck a nerve and sparked a debate about an airport that is a destination for 25 million travelers every year. 75-year-old LaGuardia Airport is dilapidated, cramped, and in some areas long overdue for a makeover. The government agency overseeing the airport says a facelift is coming. In a statement, the Port Authority of New York and New Jersey said, we are fast-tracking efforts that have lagged for more than a decade in investing $3.6 billion to build a new central terminal building at LaGuardia Airport that will provide passengers with a world-class terminal. But even those improvements may not be enough. There is no direct rail service to the airport, although it sits less than 10 miles from Times Square. And in a city where small spaces are a way of life, it's only 680 acres. In contrast, John F. Kennedy Airport covers almost 5,000 acres. It's limited real estate. They can't expand it. They can't park any more planes there. You have a problem at LaGuardia. It becomes a problem for the rest of the country very quickly. LaGuardia's woes are indicative of a larger issue. America's airports are old. The newest one is in Denver, and it opened almost 20 years ago. And travelers have noticed overseas airports dominated a recent survey of the world's best. The highest ranked U.S. facility was Cincinnati's at number 30. Just in the last decade, the United States has fallen 20 spots when it comes to the quality of infrastructure in America. It's embarrassing, and it's stupid. The vice president wasn't just singling out airports. He was also talking about the need for upgrades with the rail system and the port system. He believes infrastructure upgrades are the key to economic development. Charlie, Nora? You know, it's, it's not only like airports, of the top 25 airports in the world. We don't have one U.S. airport mm -hmm. on, on that list, but railway, I mean... You know, the Amtrak between Washington and New York runs at 70 miles an hour. The one, you know, in France that runs between Paris and Lyon is 140 miles well, an hour. Well, in Japan, 200 miles an hour. Yeah. You know, people who have been to LaGuardia might say the vice president is making a point. That hopefully somebody's listening. The yeah. country needs to Fast do something tracking. about its infrastructure. That's right. right.